Rise Royals. All right, let's go in, you guys. Welcome. If you're new here, I am Goddess Platinum, and you have made it to the home of the Twin Flames. I am so happy to have you here. Let's go ahead and dive right into this reading, you guys. Okay, I've already cleansed my space. y'all I see you <laughs> I see you I see you okay let's see what it is that we are connecting with okay that flew out Aquarius <laughs> okay Aquarius coming out here strong and I mean strong honey who is dealing with an Aquarius okay cause like <laughs> that card just flew out of the deck I'm like I'm first <laughs> ah, them air signs, boy, them air signs. <laughs> okay. Spirit, who else are we connecting with when it comes to this connection? Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio, like, don't forget me. Okay. Uh, we also have Taurus. Okay. We have Virgo. We have Cancer. Virgo out here strong again. Okay, so that is the strongest energy I'm picking up on. And then we have Leo. Okay. All right. So Virgo is coming out pretty strong in this group, you guys. Let's hop in and let's see what is going on inside of this connection. Let's start with the first card. Okay. So the first card is Two of Pentacles. Okay, so I definitely feel like there's two people here who are deeply, deeply connected to each other. Okay, it's like no matter what you do, you cannot <clears throat> get away from this person. <laughs> you know, it, it, it doesn't matter if uh, you go months or even years without talking to this person. There's always some type of bond right some type of um eternal love here when it comes to this person that never goes away right mm -hmm. and so with this energy right here you know i feel like mm -hmm, i feel like somebody may be weighing their option right should I continue to focus on this person or should I, uh, you know, just really start to move forward here, right, is the energy that I'm getting, okay? Mm -hmm. See, with the King of Swords, right? Because somebody here is not giving you what you want, right? Especially when it comes to communication. Like, I feel like, you know, <clears throat> especially with... um air signs coming out you know what i'm saying like communication honey if you are dealing with a gemini libra or an aquarius okay we love communication we love it we like that's how we live <laughs> we can't live without communication like you have to be communicating with us okay i know because i'm a gem baby you know and and if you're not communicating with me okay i don't feel loved <laughs> You know, and I feel like this is the same way with a lot of my royals. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your person's not communicating with you, you know, you don't feel the love. You feel like, you know, um, your person's not giving you everything that you need. Right? It's literally like a love language. <laughs> I need you to be talking to me. Right? So, again, we have someone here who I feel like, you know, since they have on shoulder pads, they got on knee pads, right? They really, really be trying to guard their feelings from you, right? And it's like, okay, okay. Like, are we, are we really trying to guard our feelings? Because look, like this person is topless, <laughs> you know? 
So it's just kind of like, eh, like giving you kind of like mixed messages here. You know, you you, you want to be, um, you know, showing off that body, yaddy, yaddy. But then again, you want to keep your feelings to yourself. Right. Look at this. We got temperance. Right. It's kind of like, um, you know, in this connection, it's just like slow to progress. Right. Mm-hmm. Like slow progression here. And I'm not going to say that that's a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the times with temperance, you know, healing is here. Right? So maybe your person is going through a lot of healing at this time. Right? This is what they need to be doing. You know, if if they're going to be truthful with anybody, they need to be 555 five, five on, uh, on the clock. If they need to be truthful with anybody, they need to be being truthful with themselves, right? They have to start with themselves. You know, somebody's person has a full beard. Mm -hmm. Fair skin, right? For some of you, this person may be like a yellow bone. Okay, but... um. Mm -hmm. nice body though nice mm -hmm. I see that I see that but this person really likes to keep um keep their feelings uh in check if I might say right <laughs> knowing daggone well uh, this is what they really want to be doing <laughs> <sighs> y'all this person really wants to be running around with you in this fairy tale land you know what i'm saying like oh i didn't even know she mm, the girls was out but yeah um mm, mm. Look how this donkey is like side eyeing y'all though. <laughs> right? Is this a donkey? Yeah, this is a is this a donkey or a horse? I can't tell. It kind of looks like a donkey. But anyway, you may have some haters that's hating on this connection. Right? Some snakes. Right? Really trying to bite you in the you know what here mm -hmm. I mean the lovers y'all are the lovers you guys didn't I tell y'all pick this up with this two of pentacles <laughs> you know and the two of pentacles don't even talk about lovers you know that that it don't even have nothing to do uh with love you know but that's what spirit was telling me that this card represents in this reading Right? Mm-hmm. It's like, um, it's like someone is trying to heal from everything that they feel. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this connection, almost like if they kind of forget about it, right? If they forget about this love, okay, so here's here's the reason why spirit is telling me that your person is trying to forget about it. They're trying to forget about this connection, right? Because it's like it's too good to be true, you guys. It's just too good to be true. It's like, you know, when this person thinks about this connection, it's almost like it hurts, Right, because it's like whatever this person is doing in their day to day life, it's nothing compared to this lover's card. Right, nothing and no one gives you, gives your person the feeling that they feel in this card. You see that? I mean, they are running on pure bliss. <laughs> I mean, y'all are so happy that this this horse is side eyeing. I don't know if y'all can see this horse. Do y'all see this horse? The way this eye 
is like side eyeing y'all as <laughs> almost like this donkey or this horse wants to be having fun too but this fairy won't let him do it right mm -hmm. the lovers and you know what spirit is telling me that for some of you you know what i'm saying there's some juggling going on here i'm feeling like third party energy like trying to tap into this reading you guys okay especially with this two of pentacles and this lovers out here right the lovers <clears throat> the original card right talks about having a choice between two people okay so if that resonates with you okay gonna have to put the energy where it go you guys look at this queen of pentacles baby this is you <laughs> this is you like your person came out as the king of swords right very cold very detached and you over here just like you know sitting in your chair on top of a hill mm. I don't really it looked like you've been waiting a long time I ain't even gonna lie right you look like a, a tin woman right like it's almost like when your person get back you, they gonna have to oil yeah they gonna have to put some oil right in between those um <laughs> in between those cracks because it's just like you've been waiting too long right I mean you're sitting there going like this any day now <laughs> any day now right you staring at the dog to see if the dog is going to you know react to any little bit of noise you know is somebody coming to visit me who is that you know dog just sitting there just nice and peaceful like he ain't been bothered in years that is crazy right it's almost like oh thank you spirit it's almost like some of you some of my royals you've been on this journey with your twin flame for a very very long time i feel like in this lover's card you met your person like in your teens right you either met your person in your teens or in college right y'all were very very young here you know and for whatever reason you know you guys had to go your separate ways it's almost like this person closed off every emotion wow spirit thank you every emotion they had when it came to this connection because it hurt too bad it hurt too much to think about you and to think about how connected to you they are wow okay why i'm trying to tell you <laughs> They've been fighting off every bit of emotion that has crept into their mind. Y'all, I'm not even playing about this. Like, it's like they've been arguing with themselves, right? Fighting with themselves. No, I don't, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, it's like you reach a point in the twin flame journey where you're just like, I don't want to feel crazy anymore. I feel like that's where somebody is right whether it's you whether it's your person somebody is like i don't want to to fight my brain and my heart about this connection any, anymore you know what i'm saying so i'm just going to close it off i'm going to turn cold i'm going to turn into an ice box and that's just going to be that okay wow mm-hmm
I feel like for others of you, you know, with this lover's card, you know, there is, you know, this side iron donkey and then there's a snake like I definitely feel like um, maybe at one point in time, your person was arguing with people about this connection. You know. Mm. I feel like um, for you, though. You're, pa you're patiently waiting for your person. <laughs> you're patiently waiting. You know, some of you are just like, you know, I got all day. <laughs> I got time to spare, baby. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> you know, I'm just waiting on you to dive into your divine masculine, right? Step into your role. You know, because some of y'all are like, I'm not trying to do this again. I'm not trying to come back here and do this all over again just because you don't want to realize <laughs> what this connection is, right? Just because you don't want to step into your role. I don't want to come back here to earth and do this all over again. I want to ascend to the next level. Wow. That is crazy. You know what? Let's step. Let's let's come over here. Look at this heart. Look how pretty that is. Right? It almost kind of looks like hands, like, reaching out and trying to touch this heart. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You have secret admirer here. <laughs> you know, I definitely feel, okay, I'm picking up a few hits with this secret, secret admirer, Okay. Your person, even though they're silent, they're watching you, okay? Mm-hmm. It says someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. I already knew that. I already channeled that. <laughs> I already knew that, right? They feel this, right? They feel this infinity sign. Somebody has an infinity sign, like, tatted on their, like, right here right is what i'm getting um back of the neck right and then uh for others of you the secret admirer is the snake or this person that's side eyeing somebody got somebody in their energy that is like hating on this connection for real for real <clears throat> and they're the secret admirer okay <clears throat> let's keep going Let's keep going. What we got? Ooh. Okay. Okay, so for whatever reason, I feel like... Um, mm. I feel like this could be the both of y'all's energy This crushed, you guys. Right. I feel like the both of you did not want to let this connection go. Right. Not running in pure bliss like this. No, you did not. <laughs> you don't want to let this go. Right. So it left the both of you sad. It left the both of you broken. Right. Feeling alone. Right. Here in this connection. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody rides a bike. A turquoise bike. I'm getting turquoise. I'm getting black, silver. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. So we have sensuality here, okay? I definitely feel like, ooh, thank you, spirit. I feel like with this card, you guys, I feel like for those of you that met your person back in high school, right? Back in college, like this is how they remember you, right? Very sexy, very sensual, very elegant, very... um Wow. Something about your eyes, right? Your eyes were just very um, alluring, 
right? Somebody wore a lot of red lipstick. Mm hmm. Hmm. Somebody, somebody either wears a short, like, straight bob cut right now, or they wore this back in the day. Okay. Like, I feel like when your person thinks about you, this is what they go back to. How, like, beautiful you were. Not saying that you're not beautiful now, but it's like... When they think about the old times, the good times, they go back to your younger self, right? This person goes back to when you were younger and they think about you when you were younger, when y'all were younger and y'all were able to run, like go, go, go. Y'all were always on the go. Wow. Thank you, spirit. So this person is always thinking about when you were younger. Okay, so for those of you that, you know, this is not somebody that you have known for a very long time and, you know, you probably just met this person, you know, they, they, they can't compare anyone to you, right? They know you're absolutely beautiful, right? You just have this this thing about you that just really uh attracts this person to you okay wow okay so i definitely feel like with this great diviner like i feel like this is where your person is trying to make it to right somebody that is a lot more spiritual somebody that is a lot wiser right somebody in a good place in their life i'm not sure if this person is just like in the best place right in their life but they want to get there they do want to get there mm -hmm. mm. okay let's keep going Ooh. Okay, so you are definitely this person's addiction. <laughs> this person's addicted to you. I don't care if they're not showing it. I don't care if they've been cold for years. I don't care. They're still very much addicted to you. They're still very much attached to you. Look at this. You see how that heart is like around <laughs> around this girl's ankle like it's almost like um like you have to carry around this person's heart like this person's heart is always with you is what I'm getting right it's always there lurking <laughs> in the background okay let's keep going Ooh, wow look at that new pathway okay so this is literally what you had to do divine feminine you know i feel like you had to pick up you know, as much as you didn't want to, as much as this person didn't want you to, you had to pick up and you really had to go on a new path. This crushed may be you, right? You were crushed. Or this person could have been crushed when you had to leave. Right? Right? And it's like their last memory of you was, you know, this absolutely stunning, gorgeous woman, right? That they haven't seen in a very long time. Let's get the last card out here. Look at this. Luck is on your side. Sagittarius is out here, okay? So I feel like, um, mm -hmm. it's almost like the Wheel of Fortune, right? Like, 
something here is getting ready to turn around, right? I feel like with this luck is on your side card, if you've been waiting for your person for a while, I do feel like you've been waiting for a wish, right? You've been waiting for your wish to be granted and I feel like spirit is going to grant you that wish when it comes to your person. I do feel that, you guys. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if... um. Mm. I want to get you a crystal out here, actually. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know what that is, but that's actually really pretty. I've never seen that. <laughs> okay, Spirit, can you give me a crystal for my royals, please? One crystal. One crystal, please. One crystal. Thank you. That was fast. Okay, so the crystal is... Ooh, we always get this desert rose, don't we? Okay, so desert rose is all about, about uh, time travel, right? Ancestral healing and, guessed it, patience. <laughs> Wow, okay, a natural beauty, desert rose, and its petals were patiently etched by the sand, right? Carrying with them a special message that good things take time. Come on, spirit. Desert rose promotes mental clarity by releasing negative belief systems that no longer serve you. Right? This crystal has the special power of time travel. That is crazy. That is crazy that this is talking about time travel. Didn't I say this person always goes back to when you two were younger? Right? That's that's blowing my mind right now. Okay, so it has the power of time travel and is able to heal past wounds that still affect you today, right? And alleviate pain from this lifetime or a past lifetime, okay? Use this stone to connect to your ancestors or past selves. Let's go. You need to reconcile with, okay? So, big, big message here, right? Scorpio is here and so is Pluto. Somebody needs to go get this. This desert rose, okay? This is for somebody. This stone, yeah, it is. Let me go ahead and grab you guys a channel song. And then we are going to close out this reading, you guys. This was absolutely amazing. Like, I really do feel like... I just went through a time travel, you know what I'm saying, with somebody's divine masculine. You know, it was literally like they was letting me know that they're still connected to you, right? And this is taking a very long time, right? They can feel you waiting. Mm, this person fought their heart and their mind for a long time, you guys. Ooh, <clears throat> divine masculine time travel or they time travel <laughs> maybe they be time traveling who knows who knows but I feel like this person definitely likes to go back to when you guys were in y'all's younger days spirit oh and then they just literally threw me out all of these songs I'm going to take the one that hit the floor. Oh, wow. Look at this. <gasps> Tell me, Usher, if you have not heard this song, I can see why this flew out, out of the deck and onto the floor. You better go look at these lyrics and you better go watch 
I don't think he got a video to this, but go look up the lyrics. If you have not heard this song, y'all missing out. Y'all is missing out. And when I tell you, you better listen to this song and you better have it on blast, okay? I need y'all to come back and tell me, okay, that y'all had this blast. And I don't care if it's in your car. I don't care if it's in your bedroom, in your house, in your kitchen. Have it on the max, okay? So you can feel the energy coming from this song. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. <laughs> you won't regret it, all right? So these were the messages that came out for you, all right? If you resonated with any of this, um, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to take it a little bit further and help out the channel, you know, look, share the video. Share your girl's video. Thank you, you guys. I love you guys so much for the ones that is doing it. Okay, because it's, it's, it's hard out here. All right. And um, thank you guys so much for going to... Order your protection branklets, okay? These are Twin Flame protection branklets dipped in protection oil and smoked, okay? Meditated over by me, okay? Make sure you go pick those up, riseroyals.com. Um, what else? Oh, if you would like a personal reading with me, all right? All my information is in the description box below, as well as the bio i love you guys so so much it's your favorite goddess goddess platinum and i'm out